Good morning, and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double New Masechda. Masechda is Erevin. For those people on Daf Yomi, and you're happy that Masechda Erevin was finished a long time ago. Well, guess what? If you're also learning Mishnah Yomi with me, as you should be, we're back to Masechda Erevin. But this time it's a little easier. It's only Mishnaya, so it's five minutes a day. I'll try to give you a little background. Make you know, hot, it really should have been the Mishnaya should come first before learning Masech HaZeirvin, because when you learn Mishnayas before a Masech, mm-hmm. that makes learning Masech a lot easier. You get, you know, basically <clears throat> a preview of the Masech, um, you know, bullet points to remember before you go into the Masech, but this is the way it is. Let's do it. If you didn't learn Masech HaZeirvin, so in the next cycle, you'll have this in your back pocket, and it'll always be on YouTube, so you can replay it whenever you want. Masech HaZeirvin, Mishnah Aleph, is a street, a common street, you know, when you go to people's, you know, streets, streets are not 16 amos wide. If they're 16 amos wide, according to some opinions, Machlokas, we've shown them, some say 16 amos wide already makes it a Shisharab, and some say you have to have 600,000 people, Rashi says, 600,000 people passing by on a daily basis or a weekly basis, um, so in that case, most streets wouldn't qualify as Shisharab, but if the street is smaller than 16 amos and 600,000 people don't pass by on a daily basis, it's not a Rishar Rab, it's just a yaka in the street, right? Maybe a Carmel is, but it's definitely, I mean, the rice and not a Rishar Rab. So if you carry out from your house to your street on Shabbos, you live in Woodmere, you live in Lakewood, you live in Telstone, you know, where I live. So if you go out to the street, you're not carrying, even though there's no Eruvim, all the communities have, I mentioned have Eruvim, but you're not carrying with the rice. However, you can't carry out from your house to the mobile. Because the Rabban were afraid if you carry it from your house to the mother, which looks a little bit like Shur you're going to carry it from a Shur to the Shur So they answered it, so you can't transfer from your backyard to someone else's backyard unless you have a Ruvi Chatzera, we'll talk about it in this Masech, like called Erevin. Uh, a Mavoi also is something called Shitufe Mavuos, to carry from your house to the street, where there are a lot of houses on that street. You can't carry it out unless you joined all the houses together, so you'll, you'll be cognizant that you're like one house. If you're one house, it's one street, the street belongs to one person, so you'll know it's Shur Yachid. And you won't carry from a uh, Rishal Yachid, Rishal Rabbin. You'll realize you're carrying from Rishal Yachid to the street, which is another Rishal Yachid. So, besides Shitufe Mavuos, so you have to join together through a, bottle, uh, a barrel of wine or a piece of a loaf of bread. You have to also make a hecker. You have to, at the entrance to the street, right? Most streets are, you know, have houses on either side and they're, they're uh, mafulash, meaning they're opening on both sides. Some streets, dead ends. Have our clothes up on three sides. So even if it's two sided, if it's less than 16 amos, it's a street, so that would consider it a mavoy, right? If it's three sides, right, if it's a dead end, so even if the street is 16 amos, it would still be considered a mavoy, still considered a yachid, but the three walls makes it a yachid. So in that case, we have a mavoy, which is not technically just a rap. You have to put something to make a hacker that you shouldn't carry for a yachid to a to know that it's just a yachid. And by putting a kura, which is basically uh, a beam, right at the at the head where that where the the street goes out into right another street, intersecting street. So the open side of the of the mavoy, you have to put a kora. So the kora has to be within twenty uh, amos from the ground. So according to the rabbanon, if it's above twenty amos, you have to lower it to within twenty amos. Otherwise, you can't see it, like the mars and sukkah. You don't. See something in one of twenty amos. A schach can't be one of twenty amos from the ground. Read Omer. Ainu Sarf. Yehuda says like he says in his No, even twenty amos, you don't have to. Now, on this question, Yehuda Shita more and Ian Mitzion. What exactly he argues about? Baruch Hashem Amos Yemoyed. Additionally, that open head to the Mavoi, right, which goes into the intersecting street. If it's wider than ten amos, right, the street is less than sixteen amos. If it's wider than ten amos, you have to make it smaller. You have to put additional walls over there or pl- planks of wood in order that it shouldn't be 10 amos because if it's 10 amos that's considered a pirza that's considered to be um something which is a large gaping hole it's not a pesach it's not an entrance a pirza and it looks like it's a rab but me i show a pesach however if there's an entrance like a doorway entrance right, you have two poles and you know and something an overhang so then it makes it you don't have to be mind and this is a, a lot of the, the modern eruvim rely on Surah Pesach, right? Even if it's very big, right? You have two lamp uh, two lamp poles or two electric poles, and you have the electric wires going over it, so that creates a sort of the, the, the replication of a door. 
even though a huge door, but it's okay. And you can rely on that to make an error. Beis Heksher Mavoy, Beis Shammai Ramulech have a Kura. So that we just said, you need a Kura, right? Is the opinion we'll see a Beis Ali. Shammai says you need two things, a Lechi and a Kura. You need the beam on top within 20 hours. And you also need a Lechi, which is basically like a short stick, just to, you know, remember that this is the exit from the Mavoy to the Shorab. But still, Omrim, Lechi or Kura, one or the other. Rebbe Lezer, Omer, Lechai, and Rebbe has a third sheet that you need two Lechis, one on each side. Of the head of where the street enters out into the intersecting street. Meshum Rabbi Shmuel Omer Talmud Echa Lifnei Rabbi Akiva. The name of Rabbi Shmuel one Talmud sent from Rikiel. Lanecha Zu Beis Shammai Beis Sila Al Mavoi Shu Pachos Me Arba Amos. Right. Even Beis Shammai agrees Shu Nitar Ovel Lechib Kor. Even Beis Shammai admits if it's a small opening, four Amos or less, it's less than four Amos, very small opening. So you can use one or the other. Even Beis Shammai says Alma Nechla. Where do Beis Shammai say argue? Al Rachav Me Arba Amos. By Esther, between four and ten, Shabbat Shalom, Omer Melachi Vakura. Shabbat Shalom says you need both. Shabbat Shalom, Omer Melachi Vakura, one or the other. Amar Yukiva Alzev as a Nechus or Yehiva argued on this Talmud who said the name of Shmuel. He says no. Even Shabbat Shalom would, would argue that you need a Melachi Vakura, even if the opening is less than four Amos. That's the conclusion of today's shir. Stay tuned for Iyam and Siyam where we discuss the Machlokes, fundamental Machlokes, Rehudan Rabbanan in the Mishnah, Mishnah Aleph coming up right now.